To view this video, you need to possess a .NET account. Please log in. Just kidding. Doom, 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 doom. Wait a minute. This isn't Mario Party. Oh, I'll take my leave then. Oh, I'm out of here. He just jumps and leaps and runs <laughs> off down the hall. Poor bastard. What's that? 100 star present? Well, in any case, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, completely irrelevant talk, but welcome to our look at on the classic Doom, which got a surprise release on the Nintendo Switch, among other consoles. And uh, not only the original Doom, but also Doom 2 and Doom 3. No sign of Doom 64 just yet, though, and yes. Uh, yeah, the whole thing that regards those releases, like, up until their update pops out, probably either before or after this video comes out, you need to you needed to set up a, a freaking Bnet account in order to actually play the fucking game. But to be fair, Logan, it makes no sense. It's not needed. Well, that uh, oh wait, it's E one M one. I love this song. I bang it's my head really to it all the time. Anyway, I. Uh, yeah, no, uh, you mentioned that it is very much an accident on Bethesda's part. Apparently, that's what they say. Really? I didn't know that. Well, they, well hey, if they're, if they're gonna at least fix it, then it's something. Like, like the whole thing regarding the whole login thing, it's only really supposed to be, like, an optional thing that caters to those who are part of the Slayers Club. But... You miss a secret, it's by like the some way. Online, it's like some online tracking thing. But I, we're not caring about secrets. So, yeah, as James said, this game kind of just... Came out. It, Doom 1, and Doom 2, and I believe even Doom 3. Yep. Yeah, Doom 3 is also on there. Not the BFG edition, though, which is kind of a shame. Yeah, Darn. and I will say Which Doom sucks, because the Doom... Cause... Uh, Go ahead. Doom 1 and 2 are amazing. Doom 3 is... Okay. Doom 3 is good if you don't look at it as a Doom game. Yeah, like, basically. It, 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 it's, it's very... It, it's a it's a pretty decent, like, horror first-person shooter. It just wasn't until Doom 2016 also on Switch, that the game, that it really was able to, like, mesh the arcade feel of the classic with the original, but uh, it kind of sucks that it's not the BFG edition, because, uh, fun fact about normal Doom 3, uh, Doom 3, your flashlight is its if own separate that weapon. right now, you're dead to me. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Doom, hey, we don't care, we, gotta show, we wanna show off a lot of levels, but, uh, yeah, Doom 3... The flashlight is its own separate weapon, which means that if you want to try and see and shoot at the same time, if you, and you didn't have the BFG edition, you're SOL. Pretty much. And anyway, here's uh, the best gun. Here's my favorite gun in the whole game. I'd a argue shotgun. this. I, I'd argue that Doom doesn't even really like start for real until you have a shotgun. Exactly, which is why I said if you went through this door, you're dead to me because you would have missed the shotgun. Hey, yeah, Jordan. even though you could totally get it later, but yeah, um, Jordy, what do you think about Doom? It's interesting, I'll give you that. It gives me a, a bit of a golden eye kind of feel. Uh, now, I have a question. Is this the game and or franchise that has uh, Duke Nukem or no? No. no, 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 that's his own, he, that's his own franchise. Duke Nukem, okay. would, I'd argue that Duke Nukem actually, uh-oh. Nice. I'd argue that Duke Nukem actually was a pretty decent competitor to Doom in a lot of regards. Like, when the games were first coming out, like, Duke Nukem 3D yeah. added a lot of things that you would not... At the time, right now it feels mundane, but at the time it was revolutionary. Like, they act, like they added, like, full-on up-and-down mouse looking, crouching. They yeah. were very creative with the way their maps were loaded. But yeah, so back, back on to Doom, though, uh, yeah, things to note about this is James cannot look up or down. He cannot touch his toes. Yeah, basically. Yeah, <laughs> Doom. Um, as far as like its history is concerned, is basically an indirect sequel to that of Wolfenstein 3D, which. Well, um, yeah, basically. I say, I say I say indirect because they, I mean when you think about the actual plot, they they really have nothing in common with each other other than I want to say Duke guy here is like a descendant. He is. But oh I yeah. Be wrong. Apparently, He's the great, 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 great. Apparently, Doom guy's uh, actual last name is Blaskowitz. Uh, which yep. is Doom Guy Blaskowitz. Blas yeah, which is BJ Blaskowitz. So basically, he is like the great great grandson or something. I forgot. Oh, yeah. Um, Jordy, you want to know something kind of interesting? What? Uh, Doom Guy here, or the Doom Slayer, as he's officially known as. Um, in four. Yeah, in four, anyway. He's pretty much a full on bloodthirsty demon hunter who's only really in it because they because the fuckers killed his pet rabbit. Yep. Oh no, yep. not the rabbits! And, no, no, and, and, and it's pretty, gr it's pretty gruesome. They like they 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 show a graphic of the of the thing's head jacked on a spike. 
Still, that's awful! This game was unapologetic with its gore, which is why it was actually one of the most revolutionary games. It just didn't give any fucks. No, and and, and it's and it's so quick. Are you it's looking so ruthless. for the button to let you go outside? Yeah, uh, it should be said, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, when I was recording this look at, I literally just got the game like that same That's day. Fair. And I mean, I definitely have had my fair share of playing Doom, but I'm not what you would call a Doom expert. Like. I play this game. Oh. I don't really play this game on like Nightmare or stuff like that. I, I like. I had to play this on not too rough mode. That's yeah, fair. Which... I usually play. I usually. I usually start out on Hurt Me Plenty or yeah, uh, I, I've, I've started playing uh, uh, Ultra Violence on uh, the Doom 2016. Yeah, version. no, Do Doom 2016. If you want to get the most out of your first experience, Ultra Violence. It's actually uh, pretty interesting. But, and yeah, um, Hurt Me Plenty, if you want to get the most experience of, out of this one, Hurt Me Plenty. Then. It's pretty, I'm yeah, sorry, yeah. but when I hear Hurt Me Plenty, I think of a sexual innuendo. I'm well, a that's pervert. The joke. Well, that's, that's no, that's, no, that's the joke. The joke. No, trust okay, me, good. Then I don't have to feel shamed. Trust me. What's, oh, crap. What the heck? I, I'm so sorry. What was the name of the guy at id who like first started all this stuff? Uh, John, uh, John Romero. John Carmack? Yeah, yeah, no, John Romero, John Romero held no punches back with yeah. some of these games. To be fair... I know there was Romero, and then there was the other guy who's still working with yeah, ID. John Carmack. Yeah. John Carmack, that's it. Yeah, yeah. We, don't, we don't talk... We, uh, so when are we going to play Daikatana? No, that's that's Romero. I know, I was, I'm trying to make a joke of, like, let, let's let's play Daikatana. Well, now. well, to answer your question, never, because I've never played that game for myself. I never cared. Nobody that played that game, because it was so uh, awful on release that nobody even got it. It was kind of an odd oddity, but uh, yeah. So the way Doom, so yeah. So Doom works kind of like a. It, it was the three D graphics. I remember being pretty impressive at the time. Uh, the way the camera pivots around, you don't actually have to worry about aiming too much. Like oh, you don't. So long, so long as the thing is close enough to the center of your screen, as long as it's close enough there, your bolts will just automatically so hit. So long fact, as the enemy is aligned with that barrel, it is all good. Doesn't matter how high. Doesn't matter how low they are. You probably noticed, like, er, like in the very first level, like, there was an imp that was, like, on the top le left corner of the screen, and I was literally, like, well below it, but I still shot my gun and it affected him anyway. Yeah, this was, yeah, this was a simpler time where you didn't have to worry about aiming up and, uh, up or down, just, yeah, wait until Doom 2016. Um, but then, the, yeah, then Doom... By the way, Go ahead. here's another rule of Doom. Literally touch everything. Oh, no, any wall, usually, any secret. Yeah. Any wall that looks miscolored, or even just a wall in general, touch it. And well, that, I mean, that's... Yeah, go, go ahead, James. It's... Let's just say that Doom and Doom and uh, Wolfenstein before pretty much uh, co pretty much coined the whole phrase of um, uh, cryptic is all get out. Yeah, also kind of. they well, that, that, the was, that was the... Also they coined the phrase of first-person shooter. Wolfenstein is the grandfather, while Doom is considered the father of the first person. Which is yep. funny because I don't think even I don't think Wolfenstein 3D was even the first tech, the first shooter. Like something came before, but wasn't well, quite no, scary. it wasn't the. Oh, first, hello. I am. It wasn't the first, uh, like, first person game, but it was the first great. first person shooter. Yeah, I also, I love how I love how in the original game, and I assume in Doom 2, assuming they did return, the freaking imps. You'll know when they're near when they when you hear fucking oinking sounds. Oh yeah, no, that's yeah, that's yeah. a classic thing. They start, they snort like pigs. Yeah, there's yep. they, they, that's some fun stuff. It's um, and now with Doom Eternal on the rise, like I, I'm looking forward to what's going to happen here. I, I I now I usually play these kind of games on PC typically, so I'm curious how kind of watching is. How did this feel to play on a console? Um, I mean, I got the hang it of it pretty fun. quickly, though. I said. Though I say this as someone who's actually who's whose Doom experience mostly lies within the um, Xbox Live version, which I want to say maybe ran smoother than this, but I forget. That's fair. Uh, no, this one can this play one's pretty mode. smooth. Like, though that being said, um, what game I'm hoping does get a Switch port sooner or later, being Wolfenstein 3D, because I did play that one quite a bit, and That'd I remember cool. the Xbox version, Xbox and PS3 versions being really smooth, like even smoother than the original PC release. Oh, that'd be cool to, to see. Where when I actually tried the PC release, I was like, wow, this feels very jank by comparison. <laughs> yeah, you know? I, I'd, I'd be, I would not be against Wolfenstein. Uh, oh, I should, I guess we should ask, uh, how much are, I'm assuming it's not a bundle, how much are these games separately doing? Uh, five, five bucks. bucks. For, uh, uh, except for Doom 3, I think that's ten so, bucks. Uh, that makes, Doom 3, Doom, yeah, Doom 1 and 2, bucks. five dollars. Doom 3, ten dollars. 
Yeah, that seems fair. Uh, and it's Doom One and Two separate is five dollars. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, not yeah. Each each is five dollars. And, um, and and coming with them, I, I mean, with Doom One anyway, you do have the original three um, campaigns as well as the fourth one, Thy Flesh Consumed. The fourth yeah. episode isn't that the isn't that the secret one or did, did this? I would I love think if this it is included. Like a legit DLC. I remember there was a. Did you? I, oh, it was like years ago, but I remember there was an actual. Ooh, Ultra Health. I remember there was an, a secret episode. There was like a. Because back then, like, another huge thing about this game was people could create custom mods. Hmm. You know, my friend Dante would probably like like to get one of those. <laughs> it does look like a little. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's, um. You could create custom levels, like you could create custom wads, and there was whole maps, like, people, like. Oh, this has dude, a huge like, community. Uh, like, let, let me put it to you this way. Uh, because of the Doom engine, we got such oddities like Sonic Robo Blast 2. Right, uh, and th- it yeah. wasn't it wasn't the isn't that one Mega Man uh, shooter game made on this Death engine? Match? Yeah, I think so. I can see that. Yeah. Like no, like a lot of stuff came out of this engine, and a lot of stuff moving forward. Um, then like yeah, the fact it, that it's still being used even today. The fact that the fact the fact that games like this were popularized by it led to such amazing things like Half Life. Uh, it's I'll it's be a right whole. Back, by the way. No worries. All right, okay. worries. But yeah, it, it was a whole like, it's kind of old. it is a genuinely like a piece of gaming history. I'm not gonna say it's. I, w- I won't go ahead and say it aids the best, but I will say that coming back to even classic Doom, like on PC where you can have mouse controls and stuff, like it still feels fun. It's not like you know trying to go back to classic Zelda one after playing Breath of the Wild or yeah, oh, like yeah, that. no, like, like Doom Classic is very simple and pretty easy to pick up and play so like even today i'd still recommend it yeah i, I wouldn't i would just it. say though that you'd probably you probably would want if you want the most bang for your buck you'll play the 2016 game oh no that, that, that or, or the or the upcoming doom eternal that was, that was both of fun uh, well, speaking of which i still need to get her i still need to get around to um nice. getting doom on my switch i've been i've been holding off on Back it and get doom on your switch fun. Well, the thing, well, the thing <laughs> is, I've been holding off on it for so long because it's a fucking memory hog. Oh, Ouch! Explosive oh, barrel. Careful. Oh, now. what did you do? Wow, I, I was the dumbass next to the red, to the uh, green, or excuse me, the green barrel. Also, sure. just going to say, uh, another game y'all should definitely get, uh, hmm. Wolfenstein: The New Colossus. It's fantastic. Uh, I, love I have game. not played New Colossus. New Colossus. I heard. Okay, is I heard... Real... Yeah, new like. New Order is great. I think that New Colossus is fantastic as well. But actually, it's funny you mentioned all that because I just realized uh, the same day that um, the the Doom like the Doom trilogy came out on the Switch. I think that's also the same, Blood, the same time that Young Blood came out, which is not good, sadly. It uh, could have been better. Just, it really it well, been. Well, what's everyone's beef with it? If you don't mind my asking. Uh, it like. It's very repetitive. It's very boring. like like yeah the, the level yeah. the levels will it's like the mission like the way the the way the game almost gives you certain missions it will very frequently have you going back and forth in the same maps. The only thing I find interesting is the story, but that's only because they decided to go full on man in the high castle with it. Where and the issue is that the main characters portraying that story are kind of written to be annoying. Yeah. Like, they, like, in, like, in, like, they're written to be cool in the way that Lightning was supposed to be cool. Well, no, no, no. They're definitely different from Lightning. Like, Lightning was a somewhat interesting okay. character. Okay. But... Uh, my apologies. They're written to be cool the same way that Dante was written to be cool. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. That's better. Yeah. That already. That already sends me mixed messages. Which spoiler? Which I might as well just say right now. It gen- even the because it Jenny looks like a really fun game with its gameplay i am considering doing something for dmc oh definitely yeah no de- the story story not story notwithstanding i think this i think the gameplay is really fun and and, and if we plan doing anything for devil may cry 5 some some do some due diligence or whatever some due credit is give it should be given to dmc for giving us some of the stuff that was later introduced to devil may cry 4 and 5 yeah and also you mean 5 wait no five, sorry, four, yeah 4, four came before came back. Yeah. Yeah. you're right, DM- you're right. Five. dmc 1 is all right so it goes uh, dmc has like the four games in the series are just absolutely fantastic you know 1 3 Four and five, mm-hmm. yeah, they're all fantastic. Huh. Fair. Hmm, what's that turd that's sticking right out? There was no such thing as Double May Cry 2! It didn't happen! It's a turd that I'm totally going to do a commentary of, just saying. No! 
Yeah. Uh, that, that face on the left is totally matched reaction to the movie you just said. <laughs> And then, and, then, and then that, and then that skull, on, and then that skull on the right is me looking down, like, yes. Just zoom in it. on both of them and just like put in no. our. No! I'm going to do it. <laughs> All right. Well, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for our look at on classic Doom. I mean, there's also Doom Two, but I've actually never played that one for myself. So. Uh, it's pretty it, much more of the same, but it is still a lot. I figure it is such. It, it has some things. But yeah, if you if you like if you if this kind of stuff seems in, in, seems interesting to you, or hell, if you just want Doom on your Switch, I mean, you can really you really can't go wrong with this pack. I mean, yeah. aside from that, aside from that BS internet startup thing. Which, which again, will be which will be patched later. I hope. Right, and I think we can mention. I think it has been revealed that they are working on porting Doom sixty four as well. Ooh, that'd be cool. Fun fact: Doom sixty four is the actual Doom three because Doom three is an alternate universe. Doom sixty four right. actually follows the story of Doom one and two. Yep. Interesting. Well, yeah. when it does come out, I wonder if they'll still keep the sixty four. Mm, maybe, but maybe. yeah, it'll be it'll be interesting to see what they do. But yeah, that's so, I enjoyed it. Jordy, what'd you think? It was interesting. I thought it was pretty decent. That's good. Okay. On that note, I'm Jay's Bay Extreme. I'm Lucky Jack 20. Join the cat 11. Rip and tear until it is done. Bye, everybody. Doom, doom, doom. Go home now! <laughs>